My dear students, welcome to Unit 4, Week 10 for your Individuals and Societies course for Grade 8. That extends from May 14th till May 15th. We're going to kick off this week with your summative rubric. Uh, we're going to recognize your summer your summative rules in this uh, lesson. Our word wall is going to include origin, value, purpose, limitation, secondary, and primary. Uh, you're going to watch uh, or you're going to look at a PowerPoint presentation about uh, your summative um, test and what are the criteria included in it. You're going to watch a video about the OPVL um, method. Uh, you're going to review the TSR in your assigned groups and write down the key terms in it. Uh, in this uh, TSR, you're going to uh, focus on thinking critically criterion D. You're going to watch a video about primary and secondary resources, and you're going to have a, an interactive activity related to that. A further practice, and for the challenging question, you will have a link that is going to include um, challenging questions that you are going to answer. A self-assessment, and for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to revise everything you took. Click on the next picture to take you to the activity. Lesson two. For this week, we are going to have a formative. This formative is going to be on applying OPVL. Our word wall is going to include purpose, origin, value, and limitation. You are going to watch a video about uh, OPVL, Can I Trust You? And you're going to have an interactive activity related to that. You're going to watch another video about OPVL. What, exa what questions exactly do you need to ask when writing your OPVL? Remember that your OPVL means origin, purpose, value, and limitation. Another interactive activity, a further practice, and for the challenging question, why is it important to do an OPVL analysis when you, um, when you choose your sources? A self-assessment, and for what to do next, I would like you to study the OPVL chart and write the OPVL of any news article of your choice. For lesson three, Lesson 3 is going to be a summative. Of course, you're going to apply the OPVL again, but this time you are going to, uh, I'm going to take marks depending on that. Uh, we are going to uh, look at the words origin, purpose, value, and limitation. You're going to watch an interactive activity. You're going to watch a video, a tutorial, and then you are going to apply the OPVL method uh, and making a poster showing the OPVL of the resources another uh, video and you are going to have another interactive activity related to that a further practice and for the challenging questions what are the benefits of, impl of implementing opvl analysis write your answer on your notebook a self-assessment and for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to revise the OPVL questions by clicking on the picture and reading the article uh, on the use of the OPVL method and analyze any text of your choice. I can't wait to start this fruitful week with you guys. All the love and respect. Peace out.